a healthcare expert with tips on how you can save money now on coverage. Phil Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. First, October snowfall ain't what it used to be. There's snowfall in the forecast for next week, but in 2015 and 2016, less than a foot of natural snow fell on Summit County. Last year, barely two feet fell, led by an October 2nd storm that melted before a base even formed. Most resorts delayed their opening days by at least one week. Unpredictable weather means snowmaking is white gold. Keystone has the most snowmaking in the county with 662 acres, followed by Breckenridge at 600 acres, Copper at 364 acres, Loveland with 240 acres, and A Basin with 125 acres. It's enough to get the season going, but no local resort covers more than 18% of its skiable acreage with man-made snow. Stay tuned this week and next for more facts about snowmaking in ski country, including what expanded snowmaking might mean for a water system on the brink of drought. A wildfire update. Crews report minimal growth on the Silver Creek fire near Kremling today, after it more than tripled in size earlier this month. That fire has scorched 18,600 acres since July 19th and is 50% contained. Six communities are on pre-evacuation. Across the state, nine fires are still burning on 108,000 acres, down from a high of nearly 30 fires in July. Summit County is under Stage 1 fire restrictions, meaning no open fires outside of campsites. Fire danger is very high. If healthcare were a gas station, industry expert Brenda Gleason says we might take more time to shop around and end up saving money in the end. We don't really think like, oh, where should I go get this service, healthcare service? Where's the cheapest place for me to get, you know, my bronchitis medicine? Gleason is a healthcare futurist with decades in the industry. Her consulting firm tries to predict where healthcare is headed, and she says patients need to demand service like drivers demand gas. We have to go in and be a lot more demanding and say, this isn't working for me. I, I think this system is terrible and I'd like it to be better in this you know, these specific ways. I want you to be open later, right? I want more convenient times. I don't want to have to book three months in advance. But Colorado is also fighting the good fight. Colorado's already done quite a lot to try to fix some of these issues. But if you could figure out a way that if somebody shows up and says, I want to pay a health premium, I, I want to pay into the system, but the prices that are being given to me are too high, you could imagine some sort of way that a state could accommodate that. Want to save money now on health care? Ask a doctor or pharmacist up front about pricing. New laws in Colorado make this available to anyone. And then research alternatives like direct care outside of the major hospital system, such as Summit Community Care Clinic. Healthcare consolidation is when large hospitals eat up private providers and use their size to influence insurance companies and even health policy. So why should you be concerned? John Polycadroidis with Vail Summit Orthopedics. We value being private. We think we can take care of the community best because we're here. Uh, we're, we, we, can, we can make our own decisions. We're nimble, right? We're not, we're not tied to a large corporate entity. With more consolidation, Polychondroitis says patients are forced to play by the big guy's rules, and so are private clinics like VSO. It inhibits innovation because the private groups are told what to do instead of being involved in the conversation on how to make things better. St. Anthony's in Summit recently replaced VSO for emergency room procedures. Front range competitor Summit Orthopedics, a branch of Panorama Orthopedics, takes over October 1st. Today in roadwork news, CDOT is back repaving both sides of I-70 between Vail Pass and Officers Gulch today. Expect delays after 7 p.m. through the end of the month. In sports, the Rockies play the Phillies tonight. First pitch is 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, Summit High Boys Soccer beat Eagle Valley yesterday 6-0. And all high school sports teams have the day off. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.